before we start the video, a message from Richie Kicks. Hey yeah! It's me, Richie Kicks, lead singer Pink Surf. But before we start, this video is not made for kids. It's for all the fans of the show and adults only. So are you ready to rock it, party? Thomas and the Band. One day on Thomas's branch line. Thomas was pulling his normal train with Annie and Clarabelle. This morning, it was going to be different, for reasons that Thomas would find out soon. He was making good time as per usual. He pulled into the Far Cross station as usual, but then he found five unusual men standing at the end of the platform. I wonder who those are, said Thomas. Uh, hello? Who are you? The men turned to Thomas. Who are we? said one. We're the latest glam metal sensation straight out of Florida. Pink Serpent. Glam metal? Yeah, it's heavy metal, except we sing about women, partying, and all that shit. So you must be Thomas, huh? We've heard you guys have just got a TV show. Yeah, that's right, said Thomas proudly. Although, I don't know if it is airing in America. What are your names anyway? The band introduced themselves. Richie Kicks. I'm the lead singer and sax voice. Sometimes I play keyboard too. Johnny Wills. Lead guitarist, backing vocals, as well as keyboards. Spiky Mikey. I'm the rhythm guitarist and also backing vocals. Flo Marty, bass guitar and backing vocals. Vince C's, I'm the drummer. Yeah, that's us, all from Florida. You know, 1964, year I was born, Florida was learning to rock. Yeah, well, he's the youngest in the band. Thomas didn't know what to make of their names. Are those your actual names? He asked. Nah, they're just our stage names. If we used our actual names, it'd be fucking boring, man. And what are you doing on Sodor? Well, we're going to be filming a music video for our next single, Start Me Up With Your Love, from our latest album, Are You Wanting More? We've already got a couple of other singles on this album, including Jelly Bean. And rock and party. Rock and party. Forget rock and party. We're gonna rock and party. We're gonna Thomas rock and party. party. But I want to ask, did he get permission from the fat controller? You bet your fucking ass we did. We gave him a free copy of our debut album. Ready to kick some ass! Then the guard's whistle blew, and Thomas left. Not sure what to think of the band. At Ellsbridge, he met up with Percy. Well, that's rock stars for you. Sure, if they want to film on our railway, but do they know if it's safe or not? Thomas just sighed. I hope they are, he replied to Percy, but I just didn't like their attitude. Well, said Percy, I know somebody with an attitude too. Oh, be quiet, replied Thomas sharply. <laughs> Got you there, but it's alright, Thomas. If they get into any trouble, the fat controller will be on them very sharpish. Anyway, I've got to go now. I've got a freight train to take. And then Percy left. <laughs> Meanwhile, the band and the director were getting together to start filming the music video. Emily was passing by. Hey, what's that? What are they doing on the track? She stopped by the band. Hey, what you doing? The director spoke up. 
Well, we are just using your railway to film the music video to start me up with your love by this band here. Okay, said Emily. I'm just more worried about the safety aspect. Did you get permission from the fax controller to do this? We did. The band manager spoke to Sir Topham Hat. We've got all the safety precautions. Hey, good to hear, said Emily. However, the band became annoyed with them. Hey, what the fuck now? We were just setting up when you had to come along. Excuse me, replied Emily. Yeah, do you think we're fucking stupid? I'm just concerned for your safety. People don't usually film music videos beside your railway. Yeah, yeah, whatever, okay? We know what we're doing, and so does our director. Alright, you got it? Okay. Emily left, feeling offended by the band. Later, she saw Thomas. Oh, I cannot understand how obnoxious that band was. Seriously, no. I had genuine concerns about their safety. Nobody usually films a music video on a railway, do they? I agree, replied Thomas. He then saw Toby. Whoops up, said Toby. Thomas then voiced his grievances to him. I'd like to think that director knows what he's doing as to their manager. But they should both do a better job at keeping the band in order. Or they'll have a show or two cancelled and disappointed fans. Thomas could not help but agree. The next morning, a man was out watering his garden. Home. Up home. Badum. La di da 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 Oi! Hooligans! What are you doing here? The director walked up to the man. Apologies. Well, the band here are filming a music video. The man wasn't happy. By making all this noise, eh? This is a quiet area next to the railway, and you had to come along and spoil the tranquility. Well, I suggest you leave the area for the day if you don't like it. We were booked to film here. We got permission from Sir Topham Hatt. The man just sighed and decided to just put up with the noise. But later that day, there was to be trouble, although the engines didn't know it yet. Thomas and Percy were discussing the filming when James arrived. What's this, eh? Florida men filming a music video on our railway? More like causing a ruckus which they call rock and roll and have these so-called fans that are just another form of nuisance if you ask me. I'll be glad to see the back of them. But at a cutting on Thomas's branch line, the director was about to get spiky Mikey Ford. Sure, but don't get too close to the edge of the embankment. What was that you just said? Ow! 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 Shit! Ugh, my fucking ankle! Spiky Mikey was now on the tracks having hurt his ankle. To make matters worse, they heard Thomas's whistle in the distance. Son of a bitch! What do we do? I don't fucking know! Don't ask me either! I've got it! Johnny had a secret plan. He played the code SOS on his guitar. Thomas's driver then noticed the signal. Huh? What's that? I know that signal, replied the fireman. SOS! Someone is in trouble! We need to slow down then. 
just then, I saw Spike and Mikey on the track, and they applied the brakes. But Thomas stopped just in time. Everybody expressed their relief. Thank God! The man from earlier came over to see what had happened, having been alerted by the SOS code. Hey? How is it that one of you know what SOS was in Morse code? Johnny Wiz laughed. Well, my dad served in the US Navy, and he taught me Morse codes what he had learned. My, my, how clever, replied the man. But in all serious, I'm going to phone the ambulance. In no time at all, an ambulance came over. And so did the fat controller, who spoke severely to the director. As a director, you should know to ensure the safety of the band members. What if it could have been a lot worse? You have a big position of responsibility, and you know it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said the director. And then the fat controller turned to Johnny Wiz. Congratulations on your quick thinking to avert a disaster. Ah, thank you. Well, you should really thank my dad for serving in the U.S. Navy. That's where he got the Morse codes from, and he passed it on to me as a little boy. Well now, smiled the fat controller, and then the ambulance took Spikey Mikey off to the hospital. A few weeks later, after Spikey Mikey's ankle had healed, the band came back to premiere to Thomas, Percy and Toby the fruits of their labour. As a thank you, said Richie Kicks, we would personally like to present you with what we have been doing on your railway. You are very lucky because you... This is the first time that anybody has seen it other than us and the director. This is the music video to our single, Start Me Up With Your Love. Roll it, director! Yeah! 
were actually impressed by the work and they praised the band as well as promoting the railway. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Anyway, we'll be going tomorrow because we got lots of gigs to play. Yeah, we're on the road all the time promoting our new album until we hit the studio again. And the next day, the band left to play some gigs on the mainland on their tour to promote their new album. The engines saw them off and were happy to have known them and they wished them the best. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Johnny's locked in the car and he's Left his guitar outside, and I'm off to the sea side. It's not funny, you asshole. Let me out.